G'day all. I've been after one of these aero windmills from the US now for a long time and I was having difficulty in getting them to send one to Australia. So I contacted a friend of mine, St. Paul Steam, who's got a YouTube channel. He does a lot of uh, steam videos and does a lot of modifications to uh, Jensen's and other engines and uh, he bought me one of these aero windmills and packed it up and sent it to me and I got it last week and I've been working on it ever since. They come in a kit form where you put them together. They're not meant to run on steam, they're meant to go into your garden and to run off the wind. As Bruce is a crazy Jensen guy, he made me up some Jensen water slide transfers that I've put on the tail of the windmill. I've also painted the tips of the windmill red. I've made this brass manual in there which has locked this down. This, this can't turn anymore. I've made a, a pulley here out of aluminium and then I've got a fake water pump down here which I've put a rod through steel rod through and that's running in two um, sealed roller bearings. I've copied that idea from Bruce as well and then I brazed up a fake water spigot that's going into this copper uh, water barrel, water container and connected the windmill via some of that watchmaker's green urethane building that you stick together with a, using a cigarette lighter and that you could see it just clears the cross stays on the windmill. Painted the ladder on the side of the windmill red but what a great, what an absolutely terrific uh, steam engine accessory. These are absolutely delighted with it made the wooden base up for it and uh, hasn't had a run yet um, this is going to be the first run and it's going to be run on a Jensen 35 number th model 35 that I converted from electric to gas fired you see the gas going in there I can hear the boiler is just coming up to boil still might be another few minutes and uh, yeah I am Absolutely, I'll go back for a bit of a longer shot. I think there's a bit of brightness coming off the um, gal steel of the windmill, but absolutely fantastic. They are hard to put together, well, not hard, they're just they're time consuming. You can see the bolts, there's just bolts and nuts all put together with bolts and nuts, all galvanized steel, comes in the flat pack very nicely packaged and uh, just a bloody great model go back and show you again spinning on the U Butte Lazy Season I've got the belt coming from the Jensen 35 and this should be ready to go so I'll come back as that that was my phone going off there, so I'll come back as soon as this boiler's boiled and got a head of steam in it. Okay, back again. The boiler is just coming up. So here we go on the maiden run of the Aero Manufacturing Windmill. And away we go. Little Jensen 35 running that so easy.
slip the cork there, just tighten that belt up a bit. There we go. That's the very happy with this. And thank you very much St. Paul's team for packaging that up so well and sending it down under to me. Absolute beauty. Enjoyed doing the machining to get it running. Alright everyone, hope you enjoyed that. Aero manufacturing windmill being run from a Jensen 35. As always, appreciate you watching. Bye for now.